Hello and welcome to Toshiku Simon Reviews. Today I've got a very special car. I'll just bring it to the back so you can see. This is the 2020 IBM Caris. Just released. And uh, before I talk about the car, you know, before I do a car review, I usually go on the internet, uh, look up the car, the specs, the engine size, horsepower, and everything, so that when I do a review, I know exactly what I'm talking about. But for some reason, Innocent just releases the cars, and you know, we don't get any information. So there's no um, press release, there's nothing. They just release the car and post pictures. And I think, you know, they need to do better when it comes to their PR. But uh, talking about the car, this one is finished in black and it's riding on 17 inch tires, 17 inch wheels. And they're really nice with this black finish to it. You have four wheel disc brakes, turn signals in the mirror, You know, usually I talk about the engine and the horsepower, but you know, there's no information about that. I do know it has a two liter uh, engine. I don't know if it's turbocharged or not. Honestly, Innocent, you people need to tell us more about your cars. But you know, have the Innocent badge, Caris CVT, that's the transmission, made in Nigeria, in case you didn't know. And then a reverse camera here. Let me see if I can get the boot open. And then here, nope, those are not exhaust, those are blanked out. I think the exhaust is underneath there. But you have this uh, fake exhaust vent, and there's even a diffuser here. You know, just to make it look sporty. Yeah, I believe them. I'll just show you the engine real quick before, you know, we go into the car talk about what's happening inside and another thing this logo this logo I don't you know the jury is still out on this logo I, I really think you know there was some talk on Twitter about somebody designing a new logo for them and the new logo was really cool with the eagle but this one it just has IVM on it you know it's just very you know, and cool. But you know, look under the engine, everything is neat and as it should be. Have a very tiny battery over there. And it's a two liter, uh, possibly four cylinder. I don't know if there's a, I think there's a turbo in there somewhere. I'm not quite sure. Believe me, I searched the whole internet for some information about this car, but nothing. But there you have it. There's the engine bay, all neat tight and from the front I don't know if you can see from the front it actually kind of looks like a Volkswagen Passat with this grill this grill with the uh, vertical lines those have fog lamps here and uh, you know it's just a mid-sized car just like uh, say a Toyota Corolla or uh, a Hyundai Elantra something like that but let's talk about the interior now I really like um, when it comes to innocent cars or some of these cars that are made in China or Korea uh, I kind of find it very irritating when there's a lot of plastics you know everywhere you touch plastics now the plastics in this car all right here you have some plastic here's plastic here's plastic some plastic here some plastic there but you know the parts where you would usually touch like up here and here are padded in this very soft material and I really like this glossy uh, finish here which is nice and how uh, this uh, shiny you know gives the car some upmarket feel these are your power window controls door locks window locks you know and uh, you know, they're quite tiny but you know still nice they work and then I bring you to the seats, which is probably my most 
my favorite thing about this car. They've given it this uh, nice leather finish and even added some contrast stitching to it. You know, just looks really nice. And for a car that's uh, made in Nigeria, like they say, I, I kind of like the finish and the quality of it. It's very nice. I'll just start it up. I'll show you the windows. One touch. Bring this one back up. So now I'm on the inside. Dashboard is very soft touch. And I like this display that comes out of the dashboard as opposed to, you know, oh, let me get some AC going. As opposed to being here. I like how it just rises up, makes the car, makes it just feel a bit more special. Here you have your fog light controls, power mirrors, boot release. I'll just open that up for later. And then the steering wheel is this very nice, has this leather wrapped finish. There's even some stitching on it with some bolsters to give it a sporty look. And it even has a flat bottom. <laughs> this is not a sports car, but it has a flat bottom. And it's a really nice touch. And then you have the buttons here for your cruise control, voice control, telephone, uh, audio controls. And then this for the display here in the uh, instrument cluster, which for some reason has some Chinese script on it. Let me see if I can bring that up. Okay. Look at that. There's some Chinese lettering, and you know, I don't understand why this car is made in Nigeria. So why is there Chinese lettering there? Uh, here are your headlights, uh, controls, traffic heater, windscreen wipers, and. Uh, I, I kind of like the interior, you know. It's, it looks uh, very upmarket and very nice. And that leather, I like how it's really patterned and the contrast stitching. I can't get enough of that. But you know, let's keep going. Um, you have your rear view mirror, um, and then let me talk about this screen here. Just touch screen by the way so you have uh bluetooth ipod connectivity usb all of that you can connect your phone have your car settings navigation look at that swipe 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 uh, and some other information here it's really nice i like it down here you still have some other controls the menu fm for this display here Volume skip. Down here, AC controls. Here you have USB inputs and outlets. Glove compartment in here. And treating COVID-19 patients. You have two airbags here. Uh, I can't see any side cutting airbags. So there's your airbag information. I really like this stuff. Very shiny and glossy finish. And then down here you have your gear stick. Reverse. Brings up the reverse camera. And then you can actually put it in sport and shift by yourself. You have two cup holders and an armrest that actually slides forward and opens up. And uh, Listen to how she sounds. So while the car is stationary, it won't rev past uh, 3,000 or 4,000 RPM. See that? So when it gets to the high revs, it just shuts it off. So let's hop into the back seat and see what it looks like there. So. Still soft touch, still soft touch here. Again, with the leatherette, leather looking seat with the contrast stitching. And a very decent amount of space. There's so much space in the back seat, you can comfortably carry three people here. And then the, the tunnel here is not even, it's not high enough. It's not like some other cars, so it should help. Anybody sitting in the middle row, 
it's pretty comfortable so you have some outlets here and i believe yeah there's an armrest here but you know it's it's still in the original protection whatever so can't show you all of that and then the boots has a very decent amount of cargo space underneath here the full-size spare tire although um, not with the rims So on the whole, like I said, I don't know much about the performance figures, uh, how much horsepower this car has, uh, how many gears it has, but uh, my opinion is that, you know, if you buy this car, you'll be really happy. You know, see, this, the car is made in Newe, so getting parts is not going to be difficult. And I really like, you know, sitting inside of it, um, I think they've done a really good job, you know? If I start talking about uh, some of the faults, uh, you know, there's, there's compared to other upmarket car makers, even the foreign ones from Korea, uh, some of the cars from Toyota, maybe the Corolla, you know, this car really holds its own against those brands. One thing is, uh, one thing I, I can complain about is, you know, when you fold this down, there's no mirror here to check your makeup. And then the absence of side airbags, you know, but those are just little, little things. On the whole, I think they've done a really good job. And, uh, you know, it's a really nice car. So, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, peace out.